so easy. All you do is you pop off the arm. I'm trying to keep things from getting too sandy over here. But there's sand everywhere. And sand out here is like powder. I love this place. If you don't live in Florida or you don't live near a beach, you should really start thinking about life choices. Because this place is amazing. I wish I could live down here full time. But then again, that would be extremely expensive. And uh, maybe if I win a lotto. <laughs> Buy a beach condo. Okay, so we got the leg on here. Just like that. Make sure you slide it up in there. Get it nice. Secure. There you go. There's one leg. Find the hose. And again, try not to get any sand in there. It's okay if you do, because these are waterproof. You can just wash them out. There's lefty. And there's righty. Slip the left one on. Okay, so we just did the upper body cycle to warm up. Now we're gonna use a little bit more leg and core muscle to keep this going. You gotta get the legs nice and tight. I like tight legs. Strong legs. Got a lot of muscles in your legs. They're very, very resilient. Very responsive. Okay. Here we go. So now, are you guys see me still? Oh, I'm a dick. Butt crack. Oh, there's the microphone. Okay. Stick that somewhere in there. All right, so now we're going to do pro high. And once you first, first cycle, you may have to adjust the legs a little bit just so everything is nice and happy. Stick this guy in there. All right. So, going back to the breathing. So, lay on your back. You're going to start with some pelvic tilts where you suck in your stomach and you just start to kind of roll that pelvis. You think about a bar going through your hips from side to side and you want to roll your hips on that axis. Axis, axis. Oh, there's no right or wrong here. You just want to breathe and start moving things around your pelvis and your legs a little side to side. So for the first cycle, just get used to it. Just twist a little bit side to side. Oh, move those legs in and out. Oh, what a gorgeous day. Just want to lay here and take a nap. Okay, we're on cycle two. So now we're gonna work a little bit more glutes. So I want my feet, my knees, and my hips, and my shoulders fairly lined up. You don't wanna to be too narrow. So nice and even. Bands are filling up. Take a deep breath, squeeze your butt, roll your pelvis, and just raise up. Squeeze your cheeks. Come on back down. Relax, reset, take a deep breath. Exhale, squeeze your butt. Roll your pelvis, keep your stomach tight, raise up, squeeze those butt cheeks. Hold it for about three, four, five seconds to come on down nice and smooth. Rock your hips side to side a little bit. Another one, take a deep breath. Exhale, squeeze and lift. If you're feeling this too much in your hammies, back here at the back of those thighs, you really want to focus in on squeezing your butt, not your thighs. A lot of us are hamstring dominant. We pull when we walk instead of pushing. And so you have to retrain your body to use your butt muscles to push your body through the air instead of stepping and pulling with your hamstrings. That's why a lot of people have back pain. Deep breath, exhale, and squeeze. Okay, where are we at here? We are on cycle three. Good, all right, so now what I wanna do, we're gonna get some more hip flexors in the way here. So we're gonna straighten the right leg. We're gonna take the back that left thigh and you're just gonna pull that left thigh into your chest hold it there take a deep breath and as you exhale lightly push your left leg into your hands don't let it move push for about five seconds and then relax pull it in a little bit further while you're trying to keep that right leg straight oh that's a good one i like to alternate so switching sides you're gonna straighten your left leg out you're gonna grab the back of that right thigh Pull that right thigh into your chest. Keep your left leg tight. 
take a deep breath and exhale and push that right thigh into your hands. Gradually pushing harder and harder and harder and harder, 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 harder. Relax and then pull it in a little bit more. This is called contract, relax. Or some people might like to call it proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Oh, but I like to say PNF. Take a deep breath. Exhale and push. And then relax. Pull it in. Oh, that's a good one. So you can track the muscle, breathe through the stretch, and then relax and stretch a little bit more. So you're tricking your muscles into letting go. Oh, push in your hands. Oh, relax. And breathe. Good. That's a good one. My hips are tight, so what I like to do is somewhat of a modified piriformis stretch. So I'm going to bend my right leg. I'm going to cross my left thigh over my right leg like so. We're going to grab the ankle, left ankle with the right hand. Grab the back of that left thigh. And you're just going to kind of pull that whole leg in. Oh, you don't want to pull on your ankle because you're going to torque the knee. So you kind of just cradle that thigh. Grab the middle of your shin. And then once you feel that stretch, take your left arm, reach it out wide. And then roll everything oh, the other way. You can even push down, ah, breathe. Ah, exhale, here comes the sun. It's so pretty, gorgeous day. All right, let's switch sides. All right, remember, take a deep breath. So take that right leg, cross the right leg over the left leg. You're gonna grab the right ankle with your left hand. You're gonna cradle that right thigh with that right arm. You're gonna pull that whole right thigh up into your chest. Once you feel that stretch, breathe. And as you exhale, stretch a little bit more. And then hang on to that uh, right thigh with your left hand. Take your right hand, reach your right arm out wide. Keep your back flat and then pull everything off to the other side. So you're really trying to reach across your body. Oh. And this stretch is awesome, but with Katsu, it's even more awesome. Oh, there we go, good. All right, so now we're gonna do a little low trunk rotation. So just side to side. So take your legs to one side, take them to the other side. Remember to breathe. Nice deep breath. That's the main thing we're all just keep trying to breathe. Where are we at? We're on cycle seven. Almost done. So, last couple lines, what I like to do, go into the old hip flexor stretch. So, we're gonna throw this leg here. Like so, lean forward. Oh, my hips are tight. Oh, super tight. So, left leg's forward, both hands on the inside. Reach up with that right arm, twist around, put your hand down. Reach up with that left arm, twist, and then rock back. Pull that leg forward. And then kick it out wide into a little bit of a groin stretch. Uh, push your butt back and forward. So one leg's out straight, the other leg's bent behind. Okay, so last cycle, cycle number eight. Throw that right leg forward. Lean into the stretch. Really try to stretch this back leg while you stretch the inside of that front one up there. So you're going to lean forward. You're going to plant that right arm on the inside of that right leg. Take your left arm, reach it up, and come across. Reach up with the other one, breathe, rock back to a little hamstring stretch. Pump your ankle, tuck your chin, and kick your leg out wide. Push your butt back, rock forward on your hips and knees. From there, you'll catch your stretch. Mm. Ah, I'm losing my shade here. I got some chairs acting to block the sun. We're about done. Up into a sumo stretch. Ah, and there's the end of that eighth cycle. So, that was a pretty quick and easy little katsu stretch on the beach. You can do that again. You can start over. Or you can put it back on the arms and start from the top doing the leg part. Switch, vice versa. Either way. Whatever you do with katsu, it just makes it easier 
efficient and convenient. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, don't make an excuse. It's a beautiful day at the beach, but I'm going to work out. That was like 10 minutes and I already feel great. I'm going to go have fun today.